guys welcome back to another vlog this vlog is gonna be a little different this video would have probably typically went up on the main channel but we're doing like a routine type video so we're gonna be doing our reset routine so we decided to put it on the vlog channel because we wanted to make it a little more vlog style because if it was on the main channel then we would have did like voiceovers so yeah so we have a list of things that we have to get done and we're gonna try to vlog most of them so we decided to compile all of the things we have to get done into a reset routine video so that's what we're doing today so hopefully it motivates you to get some things done that you need to get done because i have a lot of things to do today i have to do some laundry change my sheets i have to do my nails they're looking a little crusty so it's my hair it actually doesn't feel that bad um so i'm probably just going to do like a little co-wash and slap some product in it also tomorrow um i'm going to try to vlog some tomorrow too um, tomorrow I have to go get a wax and I have to get my car washed. So yeah, those are typically things that I like to do in my reset routine. And I don't know why I do this to myself, but I wait. I'm a procrastinator, so I usually end up doing most of the things that I have to get done in the span of two days. <laughs> I thought it would be the perfect time for us to film a reset routine. Okay guys, so now I'm about to get ready to do my nails. As you can see, they're looking a little crusty. Now y'all can see the grow out. See the grow out? My nails have grown so much. Yeah, they need to be rejuvenated desperately. So I like to do my nails with like natural light. So I like to do them by the window because I can um, see better. So I prefer natural light versus artificial light when I'm doing my nails. Using like neutral colors, I just feel like natural light like shows you what they're gonna look like better. Okay, so here's my nail box. It's a lot more stuff in here than it used to be. This is the new light we use. It's a lot bigger. And the time on it, like, it has way longer time stamps on it. So instead of, like, 60 seconds being the longest, it has, like, 120 seconds. So I usually do the 120 second when I'm drying my nails. So I'm going to try if I can find all of this stuff to put it in the description box um, in our Amazon store so you guys can check out. Because I still use the same nail drill. Love this thing. I have to have my buffers and my nail files. These are just some more like um, tips for my drill because um, I ran out. So Kendra just got me this brand. And then this is the acrylic I've been using. So this is the brand. So it comes with like three different powders. So it comes with three different powders as well as the liquid that you need with the acrylic. I don't know the name of this stuff, but it's very strong, like the smell, but yeah, this purple stuff. So yeah, it comes with three powders, clear, pink, and then white. I don't use the white because it's like way too opaque to me. Um, so I just really like using the pink one if I'm doing like a like neutral pinky color. And I like the clear if I'm just doing whatever color. So it just came with these three brushes. Uh, I use like the medium size. So not the small one, not the big one, but the medium one. I use that one. And then my nail polishes are all over here. I've been really liking this brand. Like this really pink. Like this really pretty pink color. So yeah, it's like a really nice mauve pink. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to do milky white today. So I really like this color. 
for my milky white color. Um, I use these the most um, from this Born Pretty line because they have like the prettiest like um, flesh tone pinks. I've, we've shown these before in like favorites videos. But yeah, they're just very natural looking. So I always mix these with other colors because they're just the easiest to work with and I just prefer neutral nails they just look way better to me yeah that's why i really really like using these i have a nail album in my phone and i usually get inspiration from looking in there and whatever i whatever i'm feeling at the moment while looking at the pictures that's the look i'll go for but i really want to start learning how to do like designs because um back in the day i used to like buy those like um skinny tip like design polishes at the beauty supply store and me and kendra used to do like our own french tips and like designs on our nails but i haven't done that in years i'm pretty sure i can like freehand like really pretty designs so i might get back into that because that was really fun for me because doing my nails honestly is very therapeutic for me i love painting my nails it's just very relaxing now the drilling and all that like that's not that relaxing but i forced myself to learn how to do it because um you know the pandemic or whatever but now that i actually go get my toes done again i still haven't got my nails done because it saves me a lot of money just to get pedicures and not a manicure so I'm going to stop talking out ear off and I'm about to start doing my nails. And I also have to fix one of Kendra's nails too. guys so i'm done with my nails i just did this peach color it's coming out lighter on camera but it's like a peachy color let me see if you guys can see that yeah i think it turned out pretty so it was this peach color um by beetles gel polish in the number 926 and then i just used this like flesh tone peach from born pretty so yeah i'm just finishing up my other hand okay guys so i'm in the kitchen this is more of the color. Yeah, this is actually the color that it is in person. It's way more true to color here in the kitchen. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I just took a shower. I did not end up washing my hair because I cut my finger when I was doing my nails and every time I put it under water, it really burns. So I figured I'll just wait to wash my hair tomorrow. Because, you know, when you're doing a curly hair routine, you're, you know, raking the product in. And I feel like it's going to make it hurt worse. Even though I'm about to wet my hands again because I'm about to make dinner. But I felt like product would make it, like, hurt worse. I'll just do it tomorrow. Plus, um, I, like I said, I'm about to cook dinner. So I didn't want to be too tired because I feel like doing a wash and go and cooking dinner in the same night is taking too much. So I'm about to make... Um, something I've made before but I've never made on camera is this like pasta pepper recipe with chicken in it and the original recipe has tofu in it but I want chicken so that's what I'm gonna have in it so I'll be able to eat off of this for like leftovers for like the rest of the week so yeah I love meals that make a lot so I don't have to cook every day and plus I'm using a new sauce let me show y'all 
This is a white sauce meal, and I typically make my own white sauce. I usually do like a butter um, sauce. Like I'll just do butter and do different seasonings in it, and then just put that over the chicken, pasta, and peppers. But I want to try this. I found this at Publix. This is from the brand Primal Kitchen. It's no dairy garlic Alfredo sauce made with avocado oil. So hopefully I like this because you guys know I can't have a lot of dairy like that. Alfredo sauce is one of the main things that really has my stomach being like, girl, what is this in our system right now? My body will like reject so much. Like it will tell me if it doesn't like something. Like you know how people could just eat anything? Even if I wanted to, my stomach just be like, Kelsey, no. Hopefully I like this because if I do, I'm gonna keep buying it. And it's only 70 calories. Not that I actually count calories because I really don't care about that. I eat food that tastes good and I try to eat as healthy as possible. I like to enjoy my food but still feel good after I eat it, so yeah. Hey guys so it's the next day uh, I told you guys this was probably gonna go into the next day because getting all of that done done in one day would be overwhelming um, but we just left Starbucks we're both about to go get waxed mm -hmm. oh joy um, it's like a love-hate relationship with getting waxed I hate them before because I'm nervous every single time but I love it yeah I've been getting waxed for like five years and I still get nervous I'm used to it now no it's not like the kind of college is, but that's nervous. That is too, but just a different kind of nervous. Yeah, we made it with time to spare because my appointment is 30 minutes before Kendra's. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we stopped at Starbucks. I got a dragon drink. What is that? It's kind of like the pink drink, but it's the um, dragon fruit with coconut I milk. I keep a these new drinks because I thought she was going to get, when you said dragon drink, I just assumed it was that green one. The green one? What green one? It's a green one. Green drink is ma matcha. What are you talking about? No, not matcha. It's like a new like. Oh, you talking about that kiwi drink? Stuff. The kiwi. Yeah, and like you can get it with or without milk. Oh, that's the kiwi refresher thing. Oh, that's that what one, I thought that was when you said dragon. That drink, one's because I didn't know the name. No, of it. dragon drink is this. It's like the dark pink. What's in that? Like the actual dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Duh, Kendra. Well, no, I just said dragon fruit with coconut milk. <laughs> The dragon fruit refresher with coconut milk. Sorry. Kendra got the original pink drink. Y'all should also try the green one that Kendra thought I was talking about. That one is the kiwi refresher with coconut milk. But it's good without coconut milk too. It's very refreshing, perfect for summer. Mm -hmm. So hopefully she does me pretty quickly because I have to be back in the car at three or a little bit before three because I have a conference call that I forgot about. I forgot about it too. Um. Yeah, Kendra probably won't be able to be on because the conference call is the exact same time as her appointment. Oh, yeah, because mine is 30 minutes after yours. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I'm, I'm just going to be on the call by myself in the car. It's okay. It's probably not going to last that long. Yeah, it's probably going to be like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So... So Kelsey and I are back from getting our waxes and it started raining as soon as we got back home after Kelsey left the car wash. So thank God we didn't get caught in the rain like right after her car was washed because that would have been annoying. 
but I really need to vacuum the couch and like take all the cushions off and stuff and do all that because I haven't done that in about a month because I used to do it weekly then it turned into every two weeks now I do it like once a month because our couch really doesn't always need it weekly so I'm gonna do that and I really need to mop the floors because I haven't done that in almost a week also so I'm gonna do that I've just been procrastinating things and I haven't been that motivated to do anything lately and also it's just me and Kelsey here and I don't always need to do like all that every week I was gonna eat something but I'm not that hungry I think when I have stuff to do that's the only thing on my mind is you know do what I need to do then eat something and I'm not even that hungry so I'll probably just have a smoothie so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I was gonna take the trash out, but like I said, it's raining and I'm not going out there, so. And I was gonna wait to like vacuum the couch and stuff till tomorrow, but I just wanna get it out of the way. So if the lighting changes a bit, it's cause it's very gloomy out. Okay, so living room is all nice and clean. I went ahead and wiped off the table also and just replaced uh, our candle on that little pedestal on the table and I just wanted to wipe the table off and vacuum because I don't want to like half-ass the living room, you know? So I decided if I'm gonna do the whole couch, I might as well just do the rest of the living room. So now I'm gonna mop the floor. If you guys were curious to see what I'm using like on the couch on like the table and stuff, I obviously always spray everything with Lysol first. After I'm done vacuuming the couch, I always go in with Lysol just to spray it and make sure it's disinfected. And then to top it off, I like to put this Caldrea Linen and Room Spray. And this Pear Blossom Agave one smells bomb. I also like the Rosewood Driftwood or something like that. Um, that one's in my room, but I love this one for the living room. I think they changed their packaging. So if you guys are looking for, you know, this brand, the packaging may not look like this. Um, but it's the same like smell. I hope so. So yeah, this is what I like to use on the fabrics and just as a room spray also. And this is my favorite glass cleaner, this Sprayway glass cleaner. This is the only glass cleaner we use on our mirrors and you know, all the glass in the house. So this is what I use for the table. And to mop, this is what I use. I like to mix uh, Clorox and Fabuloso. I really don't have like a favorite flavor. I mean, smell, I always need to say flavor. I don't know why. 
Uh, right now we're just using the green one and we have a lot of this. You can get it in bulk on Amazon. So I like to do like a tiny bit of Clorox and then I'll do half Fabuloso and then fill the rest up with hot water, like hot, hot water. So that's like my mop concoction. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Excuse my hair, I'm air drying. So it still has like a lot of product showing, but it's not dry yet. So I'm in the middle of air drying. But I need to sit y'all on something because I was gonna show y'all some candles before I sit down and have some dinner. And I gotta finish editing a few reels for Instagram because I've been trying to do my reels. And I'm thinking about getting on TikTok, but I really don't know if I want to yet because I get so overwhelmed with all these freaking platforms. It's just a lot. Let me sit y'all down. What do I sit y'all on? I'm like looking around for something to sit y'all on. And do a book. Yeah, let's do a book. Okay, these two should work. Sorry if the lighting's like weird, like all the different shapes on the walls. It actually looks really pretty in person, but kind of weird on camera. It's from the light over our kitchen table. But I don't feel like turning on that bright light because I'm in like chill, relaxed mode. And like the bright light is gonna like, yeah. You know what I'm saying. But uh, we checked our P.O. box like last week and we got some candles from this brand called Terminal B. Scents for home and abroad. So they're black owned by the way. They sent us four different like full size scents and then a few sample sizes, but I guess I'll show y'all the full size. So this is what the box looks like. So this one is called Black Fig and Cedarwood. If you guys watch a lot of our uh, perfume videos on the main channel, then you know that I'm obsessed with fig. Oh, I love how sleek these are. Love the black packaging. Oh, this is nice. Definitely in the like Santal family from the Labo or Noir 29. It's more Noir 29 family because I think that has fig in it. The perfume. I'm obsessed with that perfume. This is nice. Where am I going to burn this? No, we got a different one over there right now. And then the next one is called Rose's Musk. Kendra will probably like this one because she loves Rose. 
Oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah, Kendra would definitely like this one. Yeah, if you like roses, you would definitely like this one. I'm just gonna take them all out of the box. And the next one is called Santal Noir. So I'm guessing this one probably smells like in the Santal family from the Labo. Santal 33. Let's see. Kind of does. This one is more of a light scent. It's not like headachey. Well, none of them are actually, but I want to see how these burn. Like if they have like good projection. Yeah, this is nice. This is like really good for like any room in the house. This one is like really universal for like any room in the house. Um, this last one is called Black Current and Amber. So this is probably on the sweeter side because it has amber in it. So let's see. I look so crazy. <laughs> Looks like I have like clay in my head or something. But Y'all know I'm heavy handed with products, so. Ooh, this one is sexy. Oh, that's very sexy. So this is like a nice bedroom or living room scent. So this one I would not burn in the bathroom. Okay, Terminal B. Oh, I cannot wait to burn these. This smells so good. I think I wanna order some more of these for my bedroom. Yeah, that's really nice. I like sexy scents for my bedroom and I like more like woody scents for my living room, you know? Please excuse this like big floppy sweatshirt I'm wearing. I like to wear this like after I shower and take my hair out of my wet plop because I don't get product on my back, you know? So yeah, that's why I'm not wearing one of my like cute silk robes. I don't wanna like ruin it with hair product or ruin them. And then they sent us some sample sizes. Ooh, so they have one called Damask Rose and Oud. Ooh. Oh, it's like a full blown haul. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like two samples in here. Well, that's nice. Very rosy. Oh, that's really nice. Kendra would like this. Oh, these are so cute. You put like around your bathtub, like a bath. And then next we have sweet pineapple and sugar cane. This is probably nice for summer. This smells like juice, like a cup of cold juice. A little more on the sweeter, sweeter side, like a little too sweet to me. But it smells good still though. Okay, so this one is tobacco and smoked leather. Okay, so this sounds like right up my alley. Kind of like the fig and cedar wood. By the way, all these are inspired by like different places. So the first one, the damask rose and oud was inspired by Bali. And then the pineapple and sugar cane was Honolulu, Hawaii. And then this one says LAX. Um, so the tobacco and smoked leather is LAX. That's why the name of the brand is Terminal B, like at the airport. Ooh, ooh, this right here. Um, oh my gosh, I wish I could smell this. It smells so good. Yes, 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 yes. Cardamom Spice and Clove. This one is inspired by Cape Town. I cannot wait to visit Africa. That's still on my bucket list. Oh, uh, this is making me think of like my holiday candles because of the clove. Oh my gosh, it's making me kind of sad. It's making me miss Christmas. And then this last one is Hinoki Forest. This one is inspired by Kyoto. Well, this one smells interesting. It's like peppery with like a fresh zestiness because of, I guess, the, the forest smell. This is a good bathroom scent. I really hope these burn really well. I hope they have great projection. First of all, I'm obsessed with the packaging. I like black packaging. Kind of like I just like simple white packaging, but I'm gonna have to go back on there and get the full size of this LAX one, this Tibet in smoked leather. This LAX one is bomb. And then my other one that I think I'm gonna really like is this black fig and cedar wood. Both of these are my favorite. So black fig and cedar wood and LAX. Also when we checked it, we had some candles in there from the Harlem Candle Company because our friend Bondi, our YouTube friend, Bondi Blue, if you guys don't watch her, she's hilarious. She does like reviews and stuff like that on like TV shows. Um, she's also just started this new series that I'm obsessed with called Now That We're Grown. And she talks about movies that all of us watched like back in the day when we were kids. Probably shouldn't have been watching them at the time. But it's crazy how you see movies and TV shows and stuff differently when you get older. Because you weren't paying attention like when you were a kid versus when you were an adult. Because even when I rewatch Girlfriends now, which I'm still obsessed with that show, it's so many episodes that I just watched differently with my adult pair of eyes. Her Now That We're Grown series, obsessed with, and her reviews on TV shows are hilarious too, so. But she got us some candles for our birthday, and we were just now getting to our P.O. box, because I'm not gonna lie, we check our P.O. box like once a month. Um, but she got us some candles from the Harlem Candle Company. You guys know this is one of my favorites, but this one has this really pretty like, 
emblem on it. So we haven't burned this one yet. Kendra actually had this one on a coffee table because completely burned down this one. This is the James Baldwin candle. Love brought you here. Yeah, this is the James Baldwin candle. It's gone. We burned it down already. So this one smells really nice. Kind of like rosy, very fresh. It's really nice. And it's one more in the bathroom. Let me show y'all. So this one is like the perfect bathroom scent to me. It smells like very fresh. So this is the Glam House candle. Yeah, it just says a nightclub map of Harlem. I love this packaging. It's so dope. It's so cool. Like the details though. Okay, Harlem Candle Company. They have these on sacks now. So that means Harlem Candle Company is considered bougie now. So yeah, love that for y'all. But that's it. I'm about to eat some leftovers. Let my hair finish drying. So lately we have been watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. That's been our show of choice lately. We're almost done with it actually. It's actually really good, surprisingly. I actually really like it. And I must say I'm actually kind of sad that we're almost done with it. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. If you like period shows, it's based in the 60s. I think you would like this. Um, it's kind of random. She's like an aspiring comedian. We have three more episodes to go. I, I can't count. We have four more episodes to go. So yeah, I like period pieces, I like TV shows, because I like looking at the clothes and stuff. Um, so yeah, there are four seasons of this, so I really, really like it. So if you've been seeing it on your Amazon Prime, I, I recommend it. It's a really good show. It's kind of theatrical, but it's, it's really, really funny. I'm waiting for... Amazon Prime to bring back Harlem because season one of Harlem was really good as well. Y'all gonna look into our list we'll be watching. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to bring back Harlem because Harlem was really, really good. Season one, I think season two is probably gonna come back like around winter time because that's when Kendra and I binged the first season. You can like watch it in one weekend. It's like a quick watch. Uh, speaking of quick watches, everybody has been talking about this show, The Summer I Turned Pretty. I, I kind of want to watch it to see what it's about. Yeah, I think I might give it a try. Kendra and I are super picky when it comes to shows. That's why we like always rewatch the same shows over and over. So when it's a show that's new that we actually like, I just like to tell y'all about it. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys about The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Really, really good. Um, but yeah, we're probably just going to rewatch some of our favorites this summer, like Insecure and The Game Girlfriends. We already rewatched Jane the Virgin. So yeah, those are like our favorites. Everybody keep trying to tell me I should watch Bridgerton. I still can't get into it. It's like overrated to me. I don't really like the storyline. Um, and the main characters are kind of annoying. So I'm not really into Bridgerton. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Go fix me something to eat.